Hey, what a plan for building a perfect cheeseburger. Pulse. Imagine a football boot that suits your every need. Lightweight, innovative, touch. The perfect fit, custom made just for you. Sounds like something you would expect years out in the future. According to Puma, the future is now. And this is it. But is it modern progress or should the boot be thrown into a time machine and sent back to Marty McFly? Puma obviously made a lot of technical updates. But the biggest is that the NetFit system has been integrated into the knitted upper itself as little holes instead of an actual net. And it's still brilliant. Despite the new construction, it works in the exact same way, allowing you to adjust your lacing system to adapt to your foot shape and how tight you want the boot to fit. Think of it as a tailor-made suit for your foot, except for the fact that you can adjust it depending on what you want on that particular day. And as a consequence, it is an exquisite experience, especially if you spend a little time on finding the perfect NetFit configuration for you. Thankfully though, there's more to the future than just NetFit. It feels soft on the inside and luxurious with the stretchy sock. And compared to the previous generations, it sits tighter all over your foot. So you simply feel like there's less boot, especially around the heel and the ankle. And once you break it in, the upper will soften up like chocolate in the sun. And with NetFit on top of that, it makes sure you get enough stability and lockdown so you feel secure and comfortable at the same time. Let's get real for a second. When you pay 200 euros for a boot, you want it to look good. And while the future 19.1 will split the waters harder than Moses, I like it. And while the colors aren't exactly my thing, I really like how it embraces those futuristic 80s vibes and how the integration of NetFit as holes makes the boot look a whole lot sleeker. And while looks won't help you perform any better or worse, well, it's definitely really cool if you want to look bold. What really matters is performance though. And here the future lives up to its name. And on the pitch, the future gives you a great natural sensation on the ball. It won't give you superpowers, but I had the feeling that the boot gave me all the tools I need and nothing else. The gritty texture here gives you a feeling of grip and control, and shooting in the future feels punchy and powerful, with a sprinkle of softness on top. On the matter of the outsole, it's… uh… the same. <laughs> Seriously, nothing has changed. Which is a little disappointing, but it works. So who am I to complain? But what if I want my future laceless? Well, you can, but the lockdown would suck. And it's a bit like buying a Ferrari and then only use it to drive 500 meters to the supermarket to get milk. I mean, the laces are the best part of the future, so use them. You might think, okay, I'm hooked, but is the future 19 for me? Most likely, yes, as the future will give you the most versatile fit on the market. And while it is naturally on the wider, more roomy side, you can absolutely use it if you have slim feet like me. Just go through the size and NetFit will take care of the rest. So the future looks bright. But as science tells us, there's also a dark side of the moon. Because when you get it, the upper is stiff. At least stiffer than I expected. And it does take some time to break in and soften up. And also, I would like more NetFit holes so I could go even more crazy on the lacing. But honestly, I'm nitpicking here. Because while the Future 19 is bold, it's a great progressive boot that combines technology that actually works with a feel-good experience. A clever man once said that your future is what you make it. So make it a good one. And Puma, they definitely listened. And if you're down with the future, you should go and pick up a pair by clicking right over there. Also, make sure you subscribe with the notifications on. And finally, tell me what you think of this new bad boy in the comment section right down below. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.